Hey guys, Vikrant here. Hey guys, Yana here. And today we shall be discussing. If you want to live in Germany, you would have to have some knowledge of the German language. So even if your studies are in English, when you go out to meet people, you will probably be meeting Germans, and they prefer talking in German always. And obviously, at your work environment, if you're working with most international clients, you might get around with English, but. Even at work, most Germans, obviously, with each other, would be speaking mostly in German. Living in Germany is probably more expensive than back in your home country, so you'll be struggling to make ends meet sometimes if you're on a tight budget. Especially as a student, and uh, I'll say even as a full-time working professional, maybe 30 to 40 percent of your income can ultimately go into a rent. So there are cities with uh, with high rent rates. Uh, like Frankfurt, Munich. Berlin, Munich, where Alan. yeah, where maybe where at least 400 euros you'll be paying for rent. At least. Yeah, which as a student will be even half your monthly income. Uh, but once again, for that you don't have to share rooms with anyone. You basically at least have one room each. There's a law in Germany that says at least 13 square meter per person you need to have. Yeah. So, so that this is the first time when I moved to Germany. That was the first time that I lived alone completely. Making friends in Germany is not as easy as it might be in other countries. The Germans are a bit reserved, and you need to know most of them very well for at least a decent amount of time before they would actually start considering you as a real friend. And a lot of them uh, need to know well in advance when you'll be free to meet them, so that can also be a bit punctuality good. in Germany is a big thing. You can't waste anyone's time, and you can't just simply show up on their door and say, "Come, let's go." I mean, you can obviously if you know them well enough, but before that happens, you need to actually make official full Which time. Which I think is time. a good thing because a lot of people will learn how to be on time. Will but have to. There'll be no other. And options. I'm so glad for that. <laughs> You might be living in a small village or a town, and that can be at times trickier than when you live in a big city. So uh, probably when you're studying, you're going to be in a bigger place with a lot of students your own age, so that won't be as boring. But when you get a job, a lot of the industry is in smaller places outside of a big city, so to uh, avoid transport costs uh, and or traveling for one hour every day. Yeah, you will be moving closer to your job, which might uh, entail moving to a village with around a thousand people. Which can get a little boring. Boring at times, especially on Friday and Saturday nights. Studies in Germany are hard. You can't just get around with one night studies. Like my whole life in bachelor's, I worked really, really hard the night before the exams, and I got one of the top grades. As soon as I came to Germany, I realized this is not going to happen. The exam system is very different, and you actually have to spend hours and hours and dozens and dozens of hours for months at a time, maybe. To get a good or a top grade in a particular subject. A bad thing about when you're applying for jobs is that efficiency is not always valued as much as work experience. So a lot of the time in the in the ads, you'll see that they're looking for someone with two, three, five years of work experience, uh, and no matter if uh, how much knowledge you have, that will uh, the work experience will always uh, trump that ex that uh, efficiency that you feel you might feel that you have. And it does make sense at times, I will also say, because obviously at the beginning it's much harder for you to get a job. But once you have a job, you know that you're working enough and everyone is working hard enough. So there's no time wasted. So ultimately what happens is because employers can't easily fire someone, they feel much more secure in hiring someone who already has at least a few under years under their belt so that they can know with at least a bit more certainty that, okay, this person can do the job that we are hiring him or her for. Which in the end comes back to what we discussed in the last video that once you have the job, you can be pretty secure in it. The last thing that I would like to talk about is the spotlight. Now, I have worked in many tiny cities and some big cities and big cities, obviously you're not the only one, but in tiny cities, you might be the only one from your whole country that the Germans around you get to know. Um, you might be the first one. You might be the only one that they will ever maybe know. And when that happens, what happens is you feel like there's a spotlight on you all, all the time. You feel that you need to always be on your best behavior, look better, work better, be smarter, just to make sure that everyone around you doesn't judge your whole country bad based on what you are doing. 
So you act as a national ambassador of sort, which can be sometimes a bit pressurizing. Now Europeans certainly don't feel this pressure as I see here, but coming from India, I've met many many people who have told me, okay, you are the first Indian that I have ever met, ever known, and then they sometimes hire people based on the experience of one person. So in my last few companies, my supervisors worked with me. They found me to be really good. And then when they got a next Indian application, they actually asked me. They came to me and said, "You worked out pretty well. How do you think this person would work out?" And then they hired a person just because the experience with me was good. And that means that if that person doesn't work out well, then they might have a doubt about the whole country. And that is a big, quite a big responsibility, responsibility to have as a simple person trying to make a happy, simple life. That's all we have. for you for this video we shall soon be coming up with very interesting videos with a bit more credibility than just we both can bring and hope you like them bye guys. bye, -bye.